Kira Internet. I'm at Lake Pukaki in the Mackenzie country, the high country of the South Island. Behind me, hidden by the clouds, is Ayaraki, Mount Cook, our highest mountain. And we're going for a walk. Up here you kind of remember this was once the country where sheep outnumbered people 20 to 1. The views from up here are really amazing. We think that's Lake Benmore down there in the distance. And of course, Lake Pukaki behind us. And you still can't see Araki. <laughs> Way up there at the head of the lake is where the glacier used to come down from Mount Cook. Pretty much all of the lakes up in this area are hydro lakes and they're connected by large canals and pipes that take water from one lake to the next down in a chain right down to the sea. And way over there you can just see the power station that is at the end of the canal and pipeline leading from Lake Tekapo down to Lake Pukaki. Down there is the Kettle Tarn that this walk is named after. It's not much of a tarn at the moment because it's got no water in it. So it's just a big hole in the ground. So apparently this kettle was created by the Tasman Glacier, which starts up by Mount Cook and used to come all the way down here right through Lake Pukaki. And how it was formed is that a large block of ice was left behind by the retreating glacier and as it slowly melted it created a hole in the ground. I suspect we probably weren't supposed to leave the track to come down here because this is farmland but I wanted to have a closer look. <laughs> There's been a drought in this area and it's pretty obvious when you get down here this would have been at least swamp land and probably a little pond at some point and it's just totally dry. There's just no swampiness underfoot at all. These are rocks left behind by the glacier. Of course, now the challenge is we have to walk back up the hill to get back up onto the track. It looks a really long way up from here. <laughs> but we better get a move on because it is now quarter to five, so we've only like got another half an hour of good daylight. So, time to hit the hill. <laughs> short of the setting sun over the lake. And we've made it back to the car just as the sun is starting to drop behind the mountains. Hope you've enjoyed this little walk through the Mackenzie country. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Ka kite anō internet.